Stacey Sturm here on Downtown Lowdown, and my guest today from DN Cinematics, I have Dave and Carson. How's it going, guys? Hey, going well. Thanks for having Good. us. Well, thanks for being on today. So DN Cinematics, tell me a little bit about what it is you guys do here. So we're primarily a video film production uh, company, so um, and all the things that go along with that. So um, from the creative end to lighting and uh, camera packages and shooting and crew and everything in between, that's kind of our main focus. So how did you guys get started and how long have you guys been in business? Um, so we started in 2012, so going on seven years. We had very humble beginnings, <laughs> kind of just started with that uh, classic startup back room story where we had, you know, like a desk and a couple cameras and a computer and uh, just a vision, I guess. But And it was just literally just you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so um, so over the years, what have you guys learned? Like what, what have been some of the things that you guys have learned in your business and how have things changed? Um, well, I mean, I guess, you know, just from a technology standpoint, this is an industry that moves really quickly and stuff changes rapidly. So uh, keeping up to date with that as far as a tech, uh, you know, tech component and then also um, just, you know, what where the industry is moving, where content is moving, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, I guess things we've learned is to, uh, you know, businesses, small businesses in general, it's, you're always, you're taking a chance and you're kind of, mm -hmm. um, you can make your best educated guess, but um, you got to be willing to take that risk and kind of take the leap and, and go into uncharted waters sometimes. So what made you guys decide to start this up, Carson? Uh, I guess we've just been doing... Um, into video stuff and film work. Like my, personally, I'd, I've been doing that since I was younger. It was always something I was doing, and um, we were just uh, working at another ad agency and stuff. And we met and thought, I think we can do this ourselves, and mm -hmm. decided to just keep going with that. You're like tired of working for the man. <laughs> it's going to be so much easier once we go out on our own. <laughs> Yeah, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> I love people that always are like, yeah, it's going to be so great when I can go work for myself. I'm like, no. Yeah. Instead, no. Of, <laughs> instead of one boss, you have every client's a boss now. It's kind of true, which yeah. Which is good because you get to meet a bunch of different people, but everybody has their own vision, and ultimately you're, they're in charge. So that's, <laughs> true. that's something we've learned, I guess, too, is... Uh, yeah, just being your own boss means there's lots of bosses. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the customer is always right, especially in these days of social media now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so what have been um, what have been some of the highlights? Like what's been one of the more fun things you've done? We'll start with you, Carson. Um, I actually, uh, I kind of always go back to a story we had when we first started that uh, I really enjoyed. <laughs> but I liked uh, when we first started we were doing a documentary and we were, it was like when we were kind of first starting out and uh, it was, we were doing a documentary in the oil field and we were up in um, Watford city. Mm -hmm. And this was at the time when like you could not find a, a place like a hotel or anything. Yeah. So we ended up having to stay at a campground with all of our gear for a night oh, or two God. as we were filming this documentary. And um, it's those type of things that I really enjoy is like when it's, when we really get to be kind of creative and um, just, uh, I don't immersed know. Immersed in the yeah. project. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever think one day, you're like, gosh, I can't wait to stay in a dirty campground while working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's just, it's whenever we get to, um, you know, be as creative as we want to be with the project is the kind of the best mm -hmm. for me. And, yeah, I don't know how to wrap that up any other way. Mm -hmm. Well, it's funny too, because you're, it, that sounds like when you kind of first started and I think some of the best stories are when you first started and you don't have that comfort, you don't have the money, you're just kind of doing whatever you can to get by. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. You're in the trenches. Yeah, bootstrapping <laughs> it the whole way. So what are, what, what's one of the more memorable moments you remember, Dave? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it gets hard when it's been seven years yeah. to pinpoint anything. But like Carson said, um, we get the chance to work on the occasional like short film mm -hmm. or uh, you know documentary piece. Um, the client work is great too, and we like telling other people's story. But it's awesome when we can um, kind of yeah let those creative juices flow a little bit mm -hmm. um, and just meeting people. It, my favorite part of the job is that it's something different every single day. And so we don't necessarily know what we're going into, but um, we get to work with a ton of different people in different industries and walks of life. And so that's a, a really cool part of the job for me anyway. 
I'm just like, uh, as far as clients go, it's, it's, I always thought it was, um, it's good to see someone's like help someone see their vision come mm -hmm. to life. Like, and I mean, I know it sounds a little cheesy, but it is, it's, you know, these people trust us to do their, their stuff and push their vision forward. And that's kind of cool that they like put their faith in us to do that. So what kind of work f do you do for clients? Like what is the breadth and the depth of work that people can contact you about doing? Sure. So, I mean, we offer a variety of services, but, um, you know, one of the central things is just the, you know, commercial or kind of uh, video about, be it a company or organization, mm -hmm. we're, you know, focused on storytelling largely. So how do we tell your story as a company, as an organization, as a nonprofit, um, that kind of thing. So that's largely what we do. And, uh, you know, some jobs you show up and you shoot some of it is totally like the genesis of the idea and kind of shepherding that creative um, idea through the entire process and the shoot and the post-production and also you know, even you know, the distribution getting it out to the world and so um, that's a large part of what we do uh, you know national shoots will come to us and say hey can you help us with you know gear we're here in North Dakota we need a crew we need lighting we need uh, the, you know someone to make the logistics of shooting in North Dakota mm -hmm. which is no small feat by the way no for seven months out of the year it's a freaking nightmare <laughs> eight months out of the year it's a freaking nightmare yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So people come here and they need some help a lot of times. So um, we're able to facilitate that kind of thing. Uh, we do a lot of aerial work, so drone-based uh, photography and cinematography. Um, yeah, you name it. If you can, you know, point a camera at it, we're we're usually <laughs> uh, nearby anyway. Well, in video work, I remember probably in you guys, probably when you started off like seven years ago, video was kind of popular, but it wasn't anything. Now, everybody has video for everything, for their Facebook posts, for their Instagram, for their website, for everybody has video. And of course, everybody's really good at video. <laughs> So that had to change over the past seven years. It was probably a little bit harder sell at first, but now everybody knows they need video. Totally. I mean, so content is key. It's mm -hmm. just, it's everywhere. It's not going away. And, uh, you know, and like you said, it's easier than ever to, to just, you know, shoot and get it out to the world, mm -hmm. which is good. That's good for us as well. Um, kind of the old adage of a rising tide raises all boats. Um, yeah. That means you know, more is out there, there's more opportunity out there, and we can kind of, um, you know, just even expand further into new realms, so. Okay, so we went through the good, the bad. What is, what, what is one of the worst memories you have over your seven years? Was there ever a disaster? I'm sure. I'm, just trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to think of, I'm going to pinpoint one. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, generally speaking, there's moments where it's like, Oh, we didn't charge that battery, or oh, we didn't like <laughs> we like deleted some footage or something. Which, oh, like yeah, disclaimer, right. that does not happen. No, <laughs> in like, seven years, I don't think <laughs> that's really happened. But there's those moments where it's like, oh, what are we gonna do? I can't. Yeah, mostly think of, if you're out on the road, like if we're yeah. out on a shoot, you know, four hours away, and then mm -hmm. something that you know goes wrong, it's a lot harder to like. <laughs> You know, you have to like make up for it in that moment or whatever. Yeah, you have to kind of MacGyver some stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like it's fun. I'm trying to think of a specific though. I don't remember a story off off the top of my head here of a bad time. <laughs> no, I mean like you know, like it's I said, it's kind of fun, you know. <laughs> it is what you make it, yeah. right? Yeah. There hasn't been, yeah, there's definitely been challenges, but I wouldn't ever pinpoint anything that was like, that was the worst day and everything <laughs> went wrong. And I don't know. Like, uh, and like, I don't know. There's a lot of moving pieces in, in video production. So it's mm -hmm. like a lot of gear and vehicles and people. And we've been really lucky. Like, you know, we've yeah. always been safe. And like, that's the main thing. Cause that's, you know, one challenge with video too is like you're out in the elements and there's lots yeah. of gear and heavy stuff. And like, uh -huh. that's, that's a win for us. Everybody's always, uh, you know, been safe and, and that's always good too. Yeah. That was like kind of the memory. I'm just trying to think of a story, but it was that that's was came to my mind is like this winter we were we had the idea to do like I know we'll we'll do a lot of like beautiful landscapes mm. and so what that means is like let's get up at sunrise and we'll do like all these like beautiful landscapes yeah. for this commercial 
And then the actuality of that, you know, after the concept was involved us getting up at like 6 a.m., driving for two hours <laughs> in negative 15. Yeah. And I'm like, why are we shooting this? But it, but it ends up looking really good. And then yeah. you're trying to operate cameras and your hands are frozen. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, it's one of those things you're like, Wait, why am I out here? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why didn't did we, we choose why this? Didn't we, why didn't we just do a studio shoot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, North Dakota is funny too, because like you do have to drive. There's so much driving. Yeah. And nothing is close together, and so like you drive three hours sometimes for like half a second in a finished 30 second yeah. commercial. You know, it's like, oh, oh that was us. half a second for that little shot that we had to drive. You know, six hours round trip for. <laughs> So. You just need more B-roll. You need more stock right, footage. Exactly. Yeah, we'll just start recycling stuff. <laughs> just start People recycling like, oh, everything. Not our facility. It's like, yeah, it's close though. <laughs> it's a building, right? <laughs> you both have brick. Yeah. It's what like, else? Yeah. No, they'll know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so if people want to get a hold of you, um, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, so I'd encourage people to check out our website. That's just dncinematics.com. So D is in dog, N is in Nancy. We have to uh, always... Uh, yes. That's one thing we learned is pick a easier name. Because yeah. if I had a... Oh, I own a bar called Thomas and Moriarty's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. So you get it. I was Thomas and Mariachi's the other day. <laughs> Maybe for a nice Mexican <laughs> Masico de Miles celebration, right? that could work pretty well. <laughs> But, but yeah, D and N cinematics is not D and cinematics is not tough. Like, uh, yeah. do you get D end? Is that what they think? D end. D N D M, and then uh, cinematics is a challenge too. Yeah. It's not necessarily yeah, it's a word that's on the that top one. of you know people's heads. <laughs> For real? Yeah, oh yeah, totally. no, I mean, it's kind of. A and we're like, word. okay, cinema t i c s dot com. Anyway, it's it's a whole <laughs> thing, but but check us out once you've deciphered what our actual name is. Check it out, um, d n cinematics dot com. There's a place to get in touch with us there. There's phone numbers for everybody. You can meet our team. We have a team of five people, um, including Carson and myself. So. And also Facebook and Instagram. Do you guys have a Facebook and Instagram? We do. Yep. We're on Facebook and our Insta is just DN Cinematics as well. Okay. Um, before we get out of here, trends. What do you see as a trend for, for a video in the future? Yeah, trends. Um, I mean, there's lots of trends, but probably yeah. not ones you're interested in. Um, I, <laughs> like, I, I just think, like you said, I mean, it's, it's more and more, as you see, like people are wanting more and more video content. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, t so... As the internet grows and gets faster, I think like you've seen that, like we've seen that as the internet evolved, it went from text to to audio to pictures, and like as as the data rates get more easier to push out yeah. stuff, I think video is kind of the hybrid of all that stuff to communicate a message. So I mean, for for any sort of brand, they're gonna want video content. So I mean, I think video in general is just the trend. I mean, mm -hmm. just more and more content. Like, yeah. it just makes makes sense. 80% yeah. of the internet is video at this point. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, those experiences are going to be continuing to become more immersive, I think, too, with like the VR stuff. Once they kind of perfect that and the 360 stuff, yeah. um, it'll just become part of the industry. We saw that with drones. Like, it was super mm -hmm. hard to get an aerial shot just, you know, six years ago. You had to hire a plane or, an heli yeah. or a helicopter or something like that. And all of a sudden, six-year-olds own drones. Exactly. They got their license. They're running drones. Yeah. <laughs> So it moves quick, and it and does. so we'll see it evolve. I think in ways that we're not even thinking of at the moment. But yeah. it's exciting. It's cool to be part of it. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. <laughs>